In this training video, we are going to take a quick tour through Google Classroom. Once you log in to Google Classroom, you will be brought to your home page, which will look something like this. On this page, you will see any and all classes that either you are a student in or that you are a creator of. For example, this one here titled English One. This is a classroom that I am the instructor of and have created for my students to utilize. While this one is a classroom that I am a student and classmate of. One way that you can tell the difference is here on the Google Classroom that I am a student in, you will see the instructor's name listed here. That lets me know that I am not the instructor of this particular course. Rather, I am a student in that course. Here, you will see that on English One's classroom, there is no name listed because this is my Google Classroom that I have created for my students. I can go ahead and select this. And this looks a lot like what your students will see once they log on to Google Classroom. Once they are in the classroom, you will be brought to your stream page. This is the first page that comes up that allows students to see any and all announcements that you have created, um, any directions that they need to follow in regards to before even completing any classwork or any assignments. Here you will also find ways in which you are able to communicate with students. For example, through Google Meet, you are able to generate and create a link here that can then be accessible to your students simply through Google Classroom and are able to conduct sessions virtually here. You also have your class code where you are able to enroll new students into the course by giving them this code. And then if there were any assignments or anything upcoming, sort of like a to-do list that will be listed here for your students. You then also have your classwork tab. Students are able to access the classwork tab to see any and all classwork that is current, that may be past due and not completed yet, and also anything that may be forthcoming that you have allowed them to see and have access to if you did not hide it until that due date. Here, students are able also to use their Google Classroom calendar and also can access their Google Drive. Under the People's tab, this is for the teacher, the admin for this class. You are able to add other teachers to this classroom and also you are able to here add students and you can also invite guardians to take part in seeing a synopsis of the Google Classroom once a week. And then finally is your grades tab, where if I were to have students enrolled in this course and have assignments that have been completed and submitted by them, those assignments and students would be listed here, where I am and then able to go and grade those assignments and their grades would be listed in sort of like a spreadsheet format here as well. So again, you have your stream, your classwork, people and grades. You also have your dashboard with your classrooms that you are in charge of and also students in as well.